today I don't have a cat again because you guessed it, they're cute and they're sleeping. <laughs> a very short video on something that I started to do quite recently, a month or so ago maybe, and that is marking my books. Because before that I would always uh, take notes and write down whatever I was thinking or just, you know, write down points that I wanted to make during my book reviews. Obviously that would take time, more importantly it would take my focus away from the book and I have to stop and sometimes I would really not want to stop because obviously I want, I have thoughts during important or interesting parts in my opinion and you know it was just eh. and I decided I will be a tabber <laughs> and been trying this method for a while now and I found that it really works for me and obviously I don't take the markers out when I take photos for my Instagram and people were asking me what the tabs mean because as you can see they have different colors <laughs> and yes I do color code my tab because people were asking and this is honestly probably not the best way to do it but it's what works for me so here goes nothing. So now also if I want to reread the book and I'm looking for something specific, maybe like a lot of romance, I will be able to look at the tabs and decide which book has a lot of moments that I want to reread. And also for the reviews, I'm sorry the sun is gonna be weird in this video, <laughs> and also for the reviews it's much easier for me now to focus. So without further ado, I feel like I said this is gonna be a short video and I will keep like babbling about this. I've decided to go for four colors. What is with me and this thing? Well, I just keep showing the wrong number with my fingers. Anyway, I've decided to go with four colors for my color coding just because five seemed like too many and four is usually the number that the tabs come in. I personally prefer small tabs and transparent ones. Found a really good deal on Amazon because it was like, what, 80% off. So I got them and I really like them. I will try and link them down below for specifically ones that I use if you guys are interested in that because I know someone will ask so there's gonna be a link. I don't know if they're still on that big sale, but... And I was still figuring out my system and these two books are probably the only books that I got my system down. So one is Everything Everything by Nicola Yoon. The Night Circus, which I'm still currently reading, but as you see, there's already some tabs in there. Color number one is the most important one for the, my reviews and that is yellow. And I use a yellow tab for whenever something important happens. So And so basically if I take a book and I check the tabs and there if there's a lot of yellow tabs chances are it's quite fast-paced adventure sort of packed book I try to put yellow tabs only in the important plot twists so if I need to do a review and I, and I maybe read this a while ago I can go back to the yellow tabs see what happened there and basically those are gonna be my bullet points of what the book was about so I don't have to go through all of my notes to get the main point of the book across. Obviously maybe there is something, something that I find is really important to the story and it's not really a plot twist or a plot event I will still mark it yellow for my own preference because I thought it was an important bit of the book or maybe it just added up to some book essence. You guys know what I mean, right? I don't know if you guys know what I mean. I know what I mean though. Color number two is green. And green tab is for quotes and parts that are well written. The quotes are obviously self-explanatory. And then at the end of it, go through all the green tabs and see which one was your favorite and put it in a journal or something like that. I just find it useful so I don't have to stop and write down the quote. I can mark it green and then come back to it. And if I still like the quote and I think it's amazing, then I write it down. If I don't, I take the tab out. However, I also mark the parts that I think are well done and by that I just mean that maybe they wrote something in a non forthcoming way so do you know you know what I mean like they didn't say she had an injury as a child like straightforwardly they integrated it into the context in the way that you didn't have to explicitly say it but it was really implied and or it was maybe some awesome foreshadowing I think that is gonna be a foreshadowing and or something is just written in a really nice way that from a writer's perspective it's a nice thing to consider to maybe adapt to your own writing you know what i mean <laughs> boy i struggle to explain that one <laughs> now to the much easier tab categories and that's two other ones that are left and so the first one is blue and blue is extremely straightforward blue is funny bits so i decided to literally take a separate tab for that because sometimes i will be down or stressed and i will not want to reread the book but if the book was funny and had really funny bits that i actually laughed at 
I mark it blue and then I go back to it and just read and giggle at them because I already read the book so I know the context, I'm not gonna spoil anything for myself but I also don't have to go and reread all of it or read all of my notes I can go to the blue tab and I can giggle away <laughs> I don't know, for me the funny bits are really important so I tend to tap those and lastly then there is a pink tab and surprise surprise, pink means romance but I don't actually only mean romance I mean anything that is heartwarming in this book, surprisingly, most of it was a mother-daughter moment so it would be something that really tugged on my heartstrings not necessarily romance with a guy but I'm sure, you know, once I'm rereading Akamath that's gonna be just pink all over <laughs> but you know what it means craving a book or reread of a book that just made my stomach go all in knots and have all the butterflies flying all over again then I will grab and check which book has the most pink ones and I'll reread that one I like the fact that now I can take a book I can glance at the tabs and know if it's a particularly funny book or is it mostly romance or is it mostly plot twist I think it's really useful for for the actual reviews because sometimes you get overwhelmed like I would say that if everything everything was extremely witty and extremely funny but when I look at the blue tabs it's actually not that many it was really funny still but like I can maybe forget that there were quite a lot of hidden bits or actually quite a few well written bits you know like sometimes you get a wrong idea but if you mark it with a tab I find it really helpful for the reviews and everything. So, <laughs> this is how I do it. I know a lot of people do it extremely differently, but this is a system that worked for me and I thought I'll share it with you in case you want to try it as well. I find this extremely helpful and I'm just sad that I didn't use it before because now I have a bunch of reviews to do to the books that I have read quite a long time ago and I remember like very little about it. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed my how I mark my books video and give a thumbs up if you did. Tell me if you do something differently and tell me what works for you. You subscribe if you want to see more of me and there's also this little ring button if you want to be notified <laughs> anyway thanks so much guys for watching i hope you have a wonderful wonderful day and i'll see you very very soon bye very pale so today i have i forgot what it's called oh my god <laughs>